Very quickly, because we're out of time, and I know you've got to run, uh, Donald Trump, the Republican presidential uh, presumptive nominee, uh, he often speaks about Saudi Arabia, what he would do as president. I'm going to play a clip for you, then we'll get your response. This is Donald Trump. Saudi Arabia, as an, I like the Saudis. They're very nice. I make a lot of money with them. They buy all sorts of my stuff, all, all kinds of toys from Trump. They pay me millions and hundreds of millions. But you know what? They make a billion dollars a day, folks. And whenever they're in trouble, our military takes care. You know, we get nothing. Nothing. He says you're making a billion dollars a day, and the United States takes care of you militarily, and you don't respond in kind. At least he likes us. Um, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is an ally that carries its own weight. We have always uh, supported ourselves. We have not relied on anyone to provide any assistance to us. When you look at the Gulf War to liberate Kuwait, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia assumed the lion's share of the financial burden of that war. When you look at other operations that, the, that have uh, taken place in the region, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia carries its own weight. I believe that uh, when people are in office and the campaign is over and they have access to the facts and access to intelligence briefings, I believe that their views and their opinions are going to reflect the reality of the relationship, not the, uh, the, the, the sound bites that may take place from time to time. He this likes you. you. You like him? He's, uh, he provides great products and people uh, in, enjoy and, and, and uh, uh, buying them and living in them. Adel El-Jaber, the Foreign Minister of Saudi Arabia, welcome to Washington. Thank you.